good evening today we are going to start a new tutorial that is sql tutorial in english language jin logo ko hindi mein sql chahiye already maine hindi playlist bana rakhi hai aap wahan se jaake dekh sakte hain b today we are going to start sql a fresh new complete playlist of sql in english we will go for w3 schools now we will be starting a new topic that is sql this is my home page here you can see that they have given a simple examples some sql exercises and you can also check the sql quiz test and everything those student who really want to learn something about coding they can go through w3 schools actually w3 schools is a website world largest web developer site you can learn how to code first of all a student can learn html css java javascript python sql anything you want to learn you can go through this site and you can learn from here so today in this tutorial we are going to start with sql so let's start we will we will give some introduction part so in sql tab introduction something about sql let's start sql is a standard language for accessing and manipulating databases means sql is a standard language which will help us in accessing and manipulating databases database will be accessed by using X sql and it is manipulated by anything we have to store in database we have to retrieve from database everything will be done using sql next what is sql sql stand for the structured query language sql lets you access and manipulate databases anything we want to perform any operation in database using we can do using sql sql commands next sql became standard of american national standards institute ansi in 1986 and also the standard of internalization organization standardization iso in 1987 okay next what can sql do what is the actual feature can sql perform for us sql can execute queries against a database what exactly queries are i'll show you one of them this this is a query select star from customer this we are going to perform in a database select star from customer this is a type of a query and as you and followed by a semicolon right sql can retrieve data from the database it will help to retrieve data from database who sql sql can insert records in a database you can you know you might be knowing that we are dealing with relational databases which is in the form of the rows and columns so here it is talking about the rows rows that is records you can insert a row or records in a database using sql sql can update records in a database sql can update records in a database those records which are already present which are already present in database using sql we can update those sql can delete records from the database 
SQL can delete records which are already present in database, right? SQL can create new database. If we have to create something new database using SQL, we can do that. SQL can create new table in database. Creating new tables in database, we can do using SQL. SQL can create stored procedures. SQL can create views. Any permission, any permission we can set using, we can set permissions on table, procedures and views. We will be discussing all these things in detail, how we will be doing, how SQL will help us in performing this. So next, what is saying? SQL is a standard, but we although we know that SQL is a standard for ANSI and ISO, they, they have been standardized in 86 and 97, 87, right? So many of the languages follow these commands, select, update, delete, insert, where many uh, databases follow these commands, but some of type may exclude something different, but many support these major commands, right? Some of the syntax may differ. Okay, different, different databases follow different, different commands, but majorly all databases use these commands. Next, what is saying in any website, in any website, what actually we have? We have a database, RDBMS database. We have in a website, in a website, we have four things. The first thing is a database. Second, we have any server side scripting language like PHP, ASP, Java or something else. Third one, we have SQL. We have SQL to perform some operation over database using we can do own data, right? Fourth one is the HTML and the CSS to style the page, to design something the view for uh, users, user interaction, everything is developed by or everything is designed by HTML CSS page. So for in a website, using SQL, what we can do, we just deal with the data, putting data into database and extracting data from database using through queries. So in a website, we have four things. We have database, server side scripting language we have sql for performing the operations like putting data into database and extracting from them and manipulating okay next we will be uh, for for designing we will use html and css these we will be studying next html and css after this course what exactly is talking about RDBMS? RDBMS is nothing but relational database management system. All the databases like MS SQL Server, IBM DB2, Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft Access, all are relational database management systems. Why they are called relational management system? The data in RDBMS system is stored in database objects called tables. The data in these databases is stored in tables. The tables are exactly in form of the columns and the rows. Anything, anything in column, anything in column, we will call it a field or we will call it a attribute. We have a table, we we have table where we have a column and for the column we will call it a field and we have row we have row for a table we we'll call it a record for row we call a record and for column we will call it a field or attribute see this w3 schools have given an example we can see that let's check it out Here is the database developed by W3 schools. They have created a database for us to perform some actions. For using this command, 
select star from customers what exactly it means means we have to select star means everything all attributes all fields from this customer table this is the customer table they have created they have created themselves stored in a some database they have created their own database so right now we will performing this query to perform some action so let's run it this is the table we will be getting first of all i will let you know this table is called the result set anything actual data is stored in their database but using this command we using this query using this statement we are actually calling some data from their database the customer table over our this panel clear this is a this is a this is a column this is a column this is a column next column column we will call this customer id it is an attribute another name is field customer name attribute or field we can say that contact name this is a column this is a field this is an attribute address field attribute right now this is nothing but a row we will say it it is a record another name of this row is a record right yes so you can say in a column a column is used to specify some property like in this customer id everything will be 1 2 3 4 is for a storing id customer name will hold the customer name so individual column will hold some individual properties like in customer name we are holding some name of the customer like in addresses in address we are holding the address of that id so only addresses in city we are holding only cities in postal code the postal code country country name right what actually he is saying a vertical column vertical entity in a table that contains all information associated with specific field so column will hold specific field specific information associated with them for this today for the introduction that's enough next we will be dealing with sql syntax i request you please subscribe my channel and do share with your friends and the needy ones and do like my video thank you so much